What's up everybody, Eric here from Hardware for Gamers. AMD and their board partners have been putting out some really good deals on some of their older video cards. So I decided to buy two MSI RX 580 Armored X video cards. I was going to make two videos, this one being the more technical one, where I was going to take a look at the card's cooling performance, and then I was going to tear down the card to look at how it was made. The second video will be on the gaming performance of the card, and I'm also going to be trying out Crossfire. Now I'm pretty sure I know how that's going to work out, and that's pretty badly, but I'm going to try anyways. So I'm not going to go too much into the overall specs of the card. It is an 8GB RX 580 with the core clock of 1366MHz. The card has one DVI port, two HDMI ports, and two display ports. The MSI Radeon RX 580 Armored X is what this card is being sold as. The box doesn't have an X on it. Now I believe MSI is just reusing some of their packaging because I'm pretty sure there was an MSI RX 580 variant with the name Armor. So just watch out for that, especially if you're buying these cards on the used market. And that is because I believe the X variant has a better cooler. And just like Steve from Gamer Nexus says, the more X's in a product, the better it is. That's what that rant was about, right? Now for a quick look at the card's cooling performance. Now just a reminder, all these are in Celsius and shown as a Delta T. The auto fan profile had a max temperature of 43 and a half degrees, with the 40 dBA noise normalized test having a temperature of 46 and a half degrees Celsius. And if you pump the cooler to the max, it has the potential to keep this down at 32 and a half degrees Celsius, again shown as a delta T. The auto fan profile has the decibels maxing out at around 42 and a half. And if you set the fan to max, it is a near deafening 60 decibels. And the max peak load this thing had was 140 watts. The idle wattage is somewhere around six and a half to seven and a half watts. And the typical load when playing a game is somewhere around 130 watts. Okay, now it's time to open up the card and see what's inside. Okay, so we got a back plate, which is interesting. Now I already I don't know. Come on. So, no thermal pads, which is kind of what I was expecting. They do have some like stoppers. I'm just not sure. It sounds like metal. It's gotta be aluminum. So I know it, I already checked. Oh, to go. My magnet. My magnet! Uh. So it's obviously not steel. Quite likely aluminum. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Looks like it's, there's uh, some, I guess it's obviously to stop. Shortenings, shorts or anything like that from happening. But thermal pads would do that, so I'm not exactly understanding that one. Let's keep that over there. Okay, so let's... Obviously got the four tension screws for the GPU. It does look like that's all holding this thing in right now. We got the little washers. Are you gonna stay there or are you going to pop off later? And 
You. You should not be there. Sick him, Steve. Sick him. Get him. Get him, Steve. Get him. You're friends with MSI. You talk to them a lot. Why the hell are they still putting these things on? for the fan header. Okay. So I'm just... Hmm. I don't like that. It's nice that they have these plates, and these plates I'm... are aluminum. pad is probably large enough to actually fit on the modular module but it's not like what the shit that is really weird and again even these ones here are not covering the whole thing which like, this one's really bad and this one was pretty bad too like it's only a tiny little like why like, why are you only covering half the... How much of this was actually covering it again? This. Yeah. Like, so you got nothing on this one, and only half on that. This memory module, and this mem memory module, are not being properly cooled. Wow, okay, I was not expecting to see that. stuff is really nice and some of it's just really wonky. Here. 
which I'd guess that's two millimeters going along the top of the cap there. Which that's then touching the fin stack, which I suppose I do believe it is positioned right over the heat pipe. So it is, the heat pipe's doing something. That's for sure. That, that is stupid. Okay, and then we're back with the magnet. There we go. Just, so this is all aluminum. These are obviously copper heat pipes that are then nickel, crow, uh, plated. So this is really, really thin. I'm gonna take off the actual. So there are the fans. Let's take a look at the fans first. Um, I guess I'm gonna actually have to undo the fans from the top. actually so these are 95 millimeter fans and actually that's quite nice and there are quite a few fins so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fins on each fan 95 millimeters. Now, can I actually get into these screws? Get one of these guys out. So, they are a 12 volt, 0.4 amp, model PLD10010B1 2HH. So that's back together. So 272 grams. So this one I don't fully understand because it's not really doing much. So that one's 28 grams. And 56 grams. So my overall thoughts of the build quality of this, like, not very good, honestly. Um, like, there are some nice things that, like, the aluminum plates and, and stuff are really nice, but just the placement of the thermal pads, like, come on, like, why? Why are the thermal pads not covering stuff properly? Like, please, MSI, can you answer that? Because all in all, like, it would have, like, if you just had some better placement of thermal pads, this would be much nicer to look at. Now, I do honestly have a second one. I can take a look and see if this is just this one card. I have a feeling it's not. So, like, I'm going to have to take that one apart to then fix these pads, because that, like, knowing that the pad placement was that bad is going to mess with my OCD so horribly, I am have to, I'm gonna have to take it apart. So, like the temperatures for the GPU were decent, like they they, they were quite decent. Um, 
Now I actually kind of wanted to like maybe hook up some my K-type thermocouplers and actually take VRM and memory te memory temperatures, but I don't know, a little depressing. Yeah, I, I just don't get it. Now I, just, I don't really know what to say. So I guess that's all I got for this. Uh, do all the normal stuff, like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.